What's up there? This is AV. I have a unboxing for you. So um, the first one I'm gonna unbox, you know, I'll always come out here with the crazy boxes. Look at this. Dude was so cheap, he was like, yo, I got the priority mail, so I should be good. But then it didn't fit. So he was like, fuck it. I'm just gonna put tape over this mug. It's just it's gonna be cool. So let's try to open this. And it's like a super dope box. Like you never really see the the Nike boxes these days, which is like because it don't make them anymore. With the orange and the fucking gray, with the I think it has the diamonds on it. With the diamonds on it, you don't see that no more. But anyways, let's do this. And um, this time, guys, I am definitely gonna try to have a good camera, a good stable camera this time. That's like in one direction. You know, we all, we all, just working, Jesus is working on all of us. There we go. This is a difficult part. Come out here, the left side. See, I got me a nice knife though this time, so nothing can stop me. Look at this. A little side box game going. You see that? You see this? That's sad. Look at this, the diamonds. But, um, as you can see, it's an Air Trainer 1 SB color code 261. You don't see that that often. Um, Baroque Brown, Paprika Brown, and Paprika. Sorry, I'm watching the clothes. Um, these guys. Just got these boys in. Oh, they look so dope. I'm really excited. They are a little worn. So, let's just guess how much I paid for it. Do I guess then? Oh, this is really quality materials. It is... I paid... <laughs> it is... I paid $30 for these. With ship. So, I'm pretty stoked. I think you guys are probably like, whoa. Hopefully. I don't care, actually. But um, for these guys, it's a really good steal. So let's get a little up close. Um, I'm gonna do a little bit better for my materials. I was looking at my damn Harachis and I was like, oh, this is like suede, or what did I say, new buck, or some shit. It was not that. Sorry, y'all. But guys, working on all of us. So um, obviously speckled midsole. I think that's like the coolest part of this shoe. It's the speckled midsole, and the SF, and the leather. But um, it's kind of this kind of like roughed up leather these are also like these are used so like roughed up leather then it's like a gold sorry it's like a gold on this mesh so it's kind of like um like an underlay and then uh orange so this orange is like a leather sorry this is like this is a really nice premium leather right here um, going over to a toe box. So, you know, a little dirty. But I don't matter. Um, you know, let's look at the bottom real quick. Just to show you all. No, 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 no. The good to see the tread wear is not even that bad. That's why I got them. Really zero tread wear. Kind of like a cool collar shoe, you know. Like, I could bust these at some time. Kind of something different. No one really seen before. Um, so in the toe box, I think it had it some in it so you could see a little bit better. But I'll just zoom in on this one. But toe box, same as that one, same as what I showed you. The straps, a little nice, cool, like burgundy red. You get red laces, you get gold lace tips, Nike SB. I don't know a lot about this collab. But it's cool to see different types of SBs. Nike SB on the back. Like a... Uh, I'm scared to say suede no more. I really don't want to say suede and not be suede. But this really feels like suede. Maybe Nubuck. I say suede. I'm going to take, take that out. I'm going to take that out. For the four viewers that are watching this. I'm going to take that out if it's not suede. Alright, so that's the first one. I can do a better, more detailed review another time, but... 
I got four pairs of shoes here. So we we had a we had a very lit week this week. We're making that money out here. Alright. Number two is a shoe that I've wanted for a very long time. I think a lot of these shoes I kinda wanted for a little while, but this shoe I've definitely been looking at. I work at a Nike store. So um I definitely have been looking at the clearance and haven't seen these on clearance. I've been kinda like, yo. I need these in my life. Let me throw this box out of the way. Fucking box. Sorry. Um, it just made me so upset just looking at it. Um, but anyways, let's get to it. So, air zoom to Laria, you know, because we got to have wings on our feet. If you don't get it, better ask somebody. Um, the color is, it's basically white, black, volt, white, volt, black, some other color. In Spanish or some other language. Oh no, no one cares. So, anyways, ooh, I really, really was wanting to wear these with um, an all black outfit, a Volt hat, and then just rock these boys. Oh, the bottom of them too. This would be fire. But anyways, um, let's get you see this weight. So this was a Nike Lab release first. I don't know if these are the actual Nike Lab shoes or not, but um. It's a crazy suede. It's like tennis ball suede. It's not even tennis ball suede, but crazy, crazy suede. Um, white, really nice white mesh. This is 3M on the back. You know, suede on the toe box. Let's see what the, what the black is. The black suede too. These suede boys, you know what I mean? We just gotta be real suede -y. And, um, you know what, I'm going to break a little bit of knowledge off you guys, just so you guys can say, you know, let me pull buff out. Like, oh my god, he just got one shoe. Oh man, he doesn't have it. If all my four viewers decide to check me on my shoe collection, which you guys can see. In the mess, I have ranch. Shout out to the ranch. I was eating pizza in my room yesterday. I'm a hoe. But, um, yeah. So, uh, this right here. The Teleria is the shoes that Apollo, I think, the guy that had the wings in Greek mythology, um, or like it's Aurelius or something, I don't know, some random name. Um, so the guy with the wing shoes, his shoes were called Telerias, and that's the basis of this shoe. So the shoe kind of has wings to it. If you can, you can see it in the design, you know, if you think about as this is the wing, like the the part where it's strapped to and then this going out into the wings and you're flying you know so i just showed a little bit of the other shoe i got the other shoe i really wanted but anyways um yeah this is a great shoe it's really great materials really just fantastic you know by it's crazy that these even went on clearance because like people are like yo bring all the ogs back bring og quality back this is og quality and this is like an og head shoe and um, no one even really jumped on them. So thank God I got my I got a chance to get them. Super excited. I think one of the best cops of 2017, I think, for me right now. Next to my Royals. Boom. Sometimes you just got to go back in the future, you know. And um, I had to do on these ones. So um, I work at Nike, as you guys already know. So we get a free pair of shoes. And um, it's like every six months, every couple of months, we get a free pair of shoes. And these are the ones I picked. This is the show, you know, we can't have like documented proof or whatever. I don't know. But um, they basically, they had to take the label to show that um, I got the shoes for free. So I have no type of like, oh man, you know, of this fancy box that says the name of my shoe on it. But anywho, I got these guys. I tried them on once. They're 11 and a half. I usually wear a 12. And they run kind of small. But they're super fire. Um, so, yeah. It's basically like a nylon upper. Right here. So, nylon upper to like a hyperfuse around with the like the light Carolina blue. White um, tongue. If you call that a tongue. Because this whole shoe sign like a tongue. Um, white laces, the mesh is really soft, um, you can see my toes in it, that's really just problematic for me, 
Um, then you see this nice speckle bottom, and then you know, other side. It kind of like swooshes over. This is a kind of perfect shoe for bunny. It gives you like bunion control because usually people's bunions, which I've noticed, is like right. Oops, sorry right here on your foot so <laughs> this gives you a nice little bunion space if you got bunions out here in the streets but um it has a dual layer system like the lunar epics so basically if you guys don't know what like a dual layer does is that these are independent from the blue the blue is a whole nother dense layer of foam so from here to here to what you're contacting you have two layers of foam and I think this one's probably more plush gonna be more giving and this is a little bit more harder but I mean I have to wear a shoe to really know but they're super comfy it's like extremely comfortable so there's these boys the same thing on the other side here we go Let's see if I can focus focus camera focus there we go yeah, I think maybe my Himalayan salt rock is what's, what's killing me. It's my Himalayan salt rock lamp. It's the best. Isn't that cool? Anyways. So, yeah, that's these guys. These are going to be like a cool work shoe for me. I'm trying to find a cool way to lace it. It kind of looks like nooses right now, which is a little problematic for me. So, yeah, because I'm black, obviously. Um, but yeah. Also, if you guys ever want to know how to make a shoe stand out of a hash box, that's what we call these shoes, or hash. Oh, so on the back also, you got Nike on the left side, and then a swoosh on the right side. But if you ever want to make a platform out of a box and they're hash, you just flip them over. So you don't have to delve the box. Anyways. Last but not least, the best. Shoe. I think the most hyped up shoe. The most. If someone's in my collection, someone could definitely say this is the most hype ish. No, it's definitely not the most hype. Um, words to explain this shoe. Definitely one of the more like lit shoes in my collection, maybe. I don't know. It's a fragment, y'all. Y'all know what it is. Yes. Sometimes everybody. Sometimes the most OGs of OGs have hype beast moments and I did when I got these shoes so I got these for $30 so let me just give a rundown real quick $30 like 60 bucks free in another $30 so I spent 120 on shoes and I got four pairs of shoes all pretty limited and people are spending more than that on shoes that are pretty whack like the newer releases i don't understand sorry i won't do it again i promise i'm gonna keep this my phone at a good stable angle so here's these boys i can really you really can't mess up on the um <laughs> materials of this shoe so basically it's leather leather and more leather all right um yeah a little quality check. It's really kind of self-explanatory type shoe. Imagine the most best leather you can put on this shoe. And then put it on it. Then times that by like a thousand. And that's what this shoe is. I think the, the color is green being green. To be honest. That's the only bad thing about this shoe. Is that it's green being green. But I think it looks cool. I also need to find more green to wear with it, but that's another day, another dollar for me. Actually, I do have a green shirt that I can wear with it, so, huh, never mind. Or maybe I'm a little bit off tone, but fuck it. Anyways, I'm just I'm literally looking at my closet right now. Closet look. Jersey, 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 Jersey. Cheap polo shirt. Um. Anyways, yeah, so that's these boys. Try to cut this a little bit shorter. I know I've been long-winded. I'm already on 14 minutes, and I know the quality isn't the best. I'm going to do a detailed review a little bit later, but here's these guys. It was late at night, and I finally had the house to myself, so I was like, why not do a review real quick? 
show you guys my most recent kind of cops. Also, so I could just actually wear these shoes. It's been a while. I haven't, I was like, I'm going to do a review before I wear any of these. You know, try to challenge myself. And that's what I did. So, thank you guys for watching. The four people were going to watch this. Um, yeah, I'm going to do more reviews and stuff. So, it's going to be lit. Hopefully, it's helpful. Peace.